This video is brought to you by Don't ever let them put you in a box. Don't ever let them predict your next move. And most of all, don't ever stop motivating them. Cool green clothing, top of the line men's bed oil, coming soon. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you ain't cool and getting the green, you're in the way. And that's just basic. I, I. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end to hear the full story and all the details in the case. For the day one fam, y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Oh yeah, feel free to share the channel with your peoples. Everybody is welcome. Let's get right into the story. When two people decide to get into a relationship and give love a try, it can be a beautiful thing. In the beginning of the journey, things are usually smooth. Learning about each other, the things they went through prior, and long conversations about the future. Some people choose to take things nice and slow so that they can know for sure who they are dealing with. You got to see how your partner reacts under pressure when things get hard and when they are angry to understand their strengths and weaknesses. Also, the things that trigger them. And hopefully, y'all flaws and strengths balance each other out because no one is perfect. Things usually get real once them three words come out of somebody's mouth. I love you. Some people might play around, say it, and don't really mean it just to make a person fall for them. But when some people say those words, that means they are locked in and made their minds up. They want to make this work no matter what they have to do and go through. A lot of times when couples are young, things come into play like not having your finances together yet or even really truly knowing yourself yet. That's where lines get blurred. Say you are a regular hardworking man, but your girl wants more, looking on social media, seeing dudes out here really getting money, vice versa. If you are a stay at home most of the time, modest type of woman, but your dude sees the IG models, the clothes they wear, the bodies they got, now it's doubt in a relationship. Is this really what I want? Which is fine. We all deserve to be with whatever type of person that floats our boat. But playing with each other's feelings is a recipe for somebody to snap and things to turn fatal. And on this episode of The Baltimore Way, we'll be discussing a case of a man who broke into his ex-girlfriend's house to confront her and ended up instead taking the life of her new boyfriend. Back in 2022, Daquan Gillard was a 24-year-old man navigating life in Baltimore. The young man was a father, described as being laid back and a cool dude, but Daquan seemed to be a hopeless romantic who loved hard, and when he got into a relationship back in 2016, the young man fell hard. Some might even say too hard. At that age, most young men wouldn't even think about posting a picture of a woman on that page or any love quotes, but Daquan was different. It seemed his dream was to settle down early and have a family. See, the thing was, when he locked in with his significant other back in the day, who we will call Jasmine for the sake of the story, it had been a lot of highs and lows in their relationship. Daquan had two sons with her by 2022, and the two were always together. All on his Facebook for years, you can see him pouring his heart out and letting it be known he was head over heels and wanted to marry her and raise their family together. But like most men nowadays, young man felt he really wasn't being appreciated unless he was bringing a lot of money to the table. He worked different jobs to support his sons and girl. But for some people, that might not have been enough. By 2021, it seemed Jasmine and Daquan were still rocking hard. But soon, it would be trouble in paradise. It seemed for whatever reasons, the couple chose to split. After all those years, and do their own thing. Daquan attempted to move on through the pain, but it was clear he was hurt and really stuck on Jasmine. But for her, it seemed she was done and chose to move on. And the picture for the young lady came 27-year-old Trayvon Johnson. As Jasmine and Trayvon got closer, Daquan still felt after all they had been through, even breaking up in the past, it was probably just a phase and she would find her way back to him. 
but it seemed like that wouldn't be the case this time. Her and Trayvon was rocking hard. For whatever reasons, on August 1st, 2022, Daquan decided enough was enough. After multiple phone calls and trying to reconcile with Jasmine, he headed to her apartment in Westport, South Baltimore. The young lady was having a get together with friends and of course in attendance was also her new boyfriend, Trayvon. But when Daquan pulled up, instead of knocking on the front door, he broke in, walked up straight to Jasmine to confront her, gun in his hand. In the heat of the exchange, he pushed her up against the wall. As Trayvon saw the situation getting physical and out of hand, he decided to intervene to protect this girl. Seconds later, multiple shots went off and Daquan fled the scene. Jasmine and other people called BPD, who responded to shots fired and Kermit caught. When they arrived, they found Trayvon suffering from a gunshot wound to the head. He was rushed to a local hospital, but unfortunately, he would pass away from his injuries. Talking to the people at the home, it didn't take long for BPD to get information Daquan was the shooter, but the young man was MIA. A warrant was put out for his arrest, but Daquan went on a run. After realizing what really happened and his family pleading with him, two weeks later, the young man turned himself in to BPD. He was charged with home invasion, first and second degree hit, and committing a violent crime around a minor. As the case made his way to trial, Daquan's lawyer argued the young man had a troubled childhood with exposure to violence at an early age, and he wanted to stay above the stereotype, work, stay out the streets, have a family, and get married. His family was in full support, and let it be known, Daquan was a good young man who had never been in any kind of trouble, and they begged for the judge to take this into consideration. Daquan spoke out on his own defense, as the prosecutor stated, someone who breaks in a house and confronts others with a gun is not a good fit to be in society. The young man let it be known. A lot of games were being played, and no one knew the whole story on why he snapped that day and went to Jasmine's home. In the end, while his family broke down in court, Daquan and his attorney pleaded out and accepted the deal for life all suspended, but 30 to 50 years in prison. Rest in peace to Trayvon. I send my prayers and condolences to his family. It seemed he just got caught up in the mix. He didn't do nothing wrong, but try to protect the woman he called his girlfriend, and unfortunately, it cost him his life. Looking at Daquan's social media, I can definitely see how he would snap. It's definitely not right to take a life, even if you are hurt. But when you put that much time, energy, and love into somebody, accept them flaws and all, and they jump ship, some people can't handle that. To anybody that's trying to hold on to somebody that doesn't want to be kept, I know it's hard, but you got to let go. You can't love somebody that doesn't love you back. Trying to force a relationship or force them to understand what y'all had will never work if they decide it's done and move on. Now Daquan's sons are without their father. Jasmine probably out here living her life and all his dreams of being a husband and family man got traded in for a jail cell. In the end, he lost control and crashed out for love. Yeah, man, crazy situation. Rest in peace to Trayvon. But I ain't gonna talk too much more about this one. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. This is another episode of the Baltimore Way. This your boy Tony two times. Y'all already know it's all love, fam. I'm out.